Happy May 21st, and happy Terrific Tuesday. Hello, Sycamore, and welcome to this episode of our Sycamore Junior High Aviator Airways. Hello, I'm Alex. And hello, I'm Caden. So we're Sycamore with respect, responsibility, safety, and creative problem solving. Now it is time where we all be respectful and stand with our fellow aviators and place our hands over our hearts and say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all and please be seated. Okay. First, we want to let you know that we will not be having video announcements this Thursday. Due to all the activities running on Thursday for 8th grade day and 7th grade day. Okay, next. Let's do this Sycamore Junior High. Our district is having a district-wide food drive to stock the shelves at Operation Give Back, also known as OGB. If you have any extra food around the house or can pick up a couple of extra items at the grocery store this week, please bring it in to support our community's Operation Give Back. Please deliver all your canned goods to the bin at the door near the front office. All students who borrowed library books, they were due yesterday. Make sure that you turn them in. Turn your library books in now. Check your email from Mrs. Carter to see what books you may still have to avoid replacement cost and possibility missing this Thursday fun days like 8th grade day or 7th grade day movie day reminder for Mr. High for the 7th grade that's movie day make sure to respond to the email and list all movies by today okay what do we have for clubs and activities today if you are interested in participating on the cross country team this fall Please come to the informational meeting tomorrow, Wednesday, May 22nd, during Flex Bell in Coach Hermodka's classroom, room 1254, located on the first floor in the World Language Wing. Attention all 8th graders competing for Sycamore High School cross country. Coach Shomo and the high school captains will need you, yeah, oh yeah, will need you this Thursday, the 23rd, after school on the junior high track. The high school's warm-up routine and post-work will be shown to you all. A short run will also be completed. We will meet at 325 on the junior high track. We will be finished by 445. Now a quick message from our students council. You want to work as a team and be a positive voice of change? Do you like fun activities such as wacky games and field trips? Well then, the Student Council is the place for you. We meet on the first and third Thursday of the month after school. It is easy to make friends and make an impact. Please join us in the fun that Student Council. Do you know Ms. Wiley or Ms. DiOrio if you would like to join Student Council? Thanks, Student Council. Next, Next up. up. Good afternoon, Aviator Nation. Mr. Stern and Mr. Rodriguez here. This is the week that we've been talking about this week. Eighth for, grade day. Yeah, uh, eighth grade day Exciting. is coming up this Thursday. I know I've been kind of watching the weather. There, I think there's like a chance of rain, but I think that might be it's overnight. A small chance. Small chance. Yeah, so I, hopefully it'll uh, it'll clear out. It, as long as it's not flurries, we are, are oh. good to go. So big, exciting week. Definitely looking forward to eighth grade day. So let's talk about a couple of things. One, I'll be reaching out to those students and those parents of students who will not be joining us on eighth grade day. So uh, the goal is to get those phone calls in on Tuesday, Wednesday at the latest. Um, if you don't get a phone call, congratulations. Doesn't mean you still can't make the no eighth grade day list because your behavior counts all the way up until eighth grade day and even during eighth grade day yep. um, is important as well which brings up another thing that we want students to start thinking about as we round out the year if you have a discipline for this year 
that is late in the school year that will extend into next year. So if we're talking an in-school suspension, an out-of-school suspension, you can't just be like, ah, oh, it's the last day, and that, you know, nothing matters anymore. Um, those things will go into the following school year. So you want to make sure that you're making good decisions all the way through. Also, bus referrals, those count as referrals. So those of you on that eighth grade day kind of wavering list, or those of you who are um, with multiple referrals and you get bus referrals after eighth grade day, um, again, bus referrals, those count as well. And something else with eighth grade day, and this ties in the sports, and that is getting your uniform turned in. So talked to Mr. Hunter just a couple of days ago. He said, we got quite a few students that probably won't be joining us for eighth grade day because they have not turned in uniforms. So make sure those uniforms are getting turned in to, um, I think all of them go to Mr. Hunter, but if you've been given separate directions, that is okay. So um, I think we get to start talking about the good stuff. Yep. Let's Sounds talk about great. the good stuff. Do you want to go, go first this week? Sure. Yeah. The, this week, uh, character card, it goes to a young man by the name of Seth. Seth Peterson. Seth, congratulations on making a difference. Here's what someone wrote uh, about you. Every single time I see him, he greets me and others with a ton of energy, and it makes me feel important. That was That's my, awesome. Yeah, that was my favorite I part. I like that part. was the important part. Often in the morning, I'm unenergized, but he always makes me happy and in a good mood. So Seth, keep that up. Keep spreading that positive uh, attitude and, and just, just feel about you know, the way you do things. So appreciate you and your efforts. Yeah, and you know, we've been doing that whole presentation, uh, the power of compliments, and that, that is all about making somebody else feel good about themselves, which is exactly what, what Seth is doing to that person, uh, even if he doesn't realize it. Absolutely. So, uh, this one goes to Esme. And uh, I believe the last name is Faust. I think it's F-O-U-S-E. It says, I met you in the summer and you quickly became one of my best friends. You care for people so much and you work so hard, even with everything that you are going through. Keep being kind, smart, and loving. So great nominations this That's week. Right. So, That's right. Fantastic. Uh, we're not going to classrooms anymore because we have we think we've been to all of all them. All of them. Yep. All of them. Um, but you can make a difference any day of the week. Thanks. All those interested in wrestling next year. Open mats are back on at Sycamore High School and wrestling room every Sunday from 6 to 7.30. If you have any questions, ask Coach Foley. Robotics. Applications for our next season are open, and if you are interested in participating in it, FTC, we ask you to please apply early by June 1st to save money. Uh, registration will increase after June 1st. Apply to the Sycamore Robotics website or to the form site below. Are you looking for a fun, welcoming fall team sport with positive team culture? Join the Sycamore High School Girls Water Polo. Be informed. Check your emails every day and be responsible. Young adults and make this is a great place. Mark your calendars. May 21st tonight is the Orchestra Spring Concert, 7 p.m. at the high school. May 22nd is the band concert, 7 p.m. at high school. This Thursday, May 23rd, is the 8th grade day celebration at Blue Ash Civic Center. For 8th graders making excellent choices and 7th graders making great choices, get to hang out at the school to watch movies with their friend groups. May 27th, this Monday is Memorial Day, so no school. Next Thursday, May 30th, is the last day of school. Let the countdown continue, as today we are in the single digits. We yeah, have seven, seven days left. Right. Next up. And now over to our segment, The Morning Sycamore. Mrs. Stein. And I'm going to be interviewing you with some questions. Okay, great. What are you most excited about for the rising seventh graders? 
Well, I had an opportunity to go over to the Green School to hear a lot of them sing for choir for next year, and they just seem like really nice kids. They seem um, just very mature for incoming seventh graders, so I'm just excited for them to join us next year. We will miss the eighth graders, but excited for a new school year next year. What are you going to miss most about the current eighth graders arising? Um, these eighth graders are a lot of fun. I enjoy them um, on the daily basis. They're hard workers and they've made this new building opening a lot of fun and they've just been really just great kids and um, I know they're going to do great things. What is the greatest memory you ha you've had this year? This year? My greatest memory? I've had a couple. Um, I think just coming to the new building was an amazing memory. I've taught here for 24 years now so um, having a brand new room and a brand new building obviously was a great memory and I also enjoyed um, going on the choir trip this year. Why do you choose to become a teacher? I chose to become a teacher because when I was in school my choir experience wasn't great and I wanted to provide a great choir experience for kids and um, knew that I could do that and so here I am and I love it. Thank you for letting me interview you today. Thank you for interviewing me. Keep your grades up and turn your work to finish strong. Next, Next up, up, birthdays. Happy birthday to you. No students are celebrating their birthdays today. Next, joke of the day. Why did the chicken cross the road? I don't know. Why? To get to the other side. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's all we have for today. Enjoy your day. Make good choices and learn from your mistakes. And as we always say, go A's. Go A's! <laughs> that was good. <laughs>